back. Um, yeah, I know... The stream is dead, time to panic. Yeah, I know, I, I turned off the stream for a second because, uh... uh it seemed like OBS was having some issues, so... I think it'll be... Things will be better like this. Not dead, panic time over. Oh, good. Sorry, sir, but I can't let you in like that. We've got a dress code, see? I'll need to take that hat from you. Hmm. So you're saying that we can enter if I give you a hat? I feel like I... Taking Felix's request for that hat at face value, you must now find another hat to hand over from the pattern shown below. The hat you're looking for will be the same shape and size as the one shown above the pattern, but it will not be might not be facing the same direction. Um use your stylus to outline your answer. Uh, well, let's see, just gotta look around for a bit, and then I should, uh, find it. Ugh, gosh. Kinda tired, like, I, w like, my legs are hurting, cause I, I went for a pretty, pretty long walk again, so. My legs kind of, kind of hurt right now, but, uh, I'll, I'll live. Um, so let's see, just gotta look around for a bit, and the hat is somewhere, somewhere around here. To test my limits. Well, well, fuck. I suppose that's one possibility eliminated. <laughs> and that one up. Okay, let's just try drawing something. More precise, I guess. See if this works. God, it's kind of it's pretty hard to get this right on an emulator. There we go. Okay. And there we have it. That's much better. Sneaky, good job spotting the hidden hat. Now the professor has a hat to give Felix. Not quite what he asked, but okay. Come on, professor, you're supposed to be smart. There we are. As requested, I have provided you with that hat. Huh? Uh, Professor, I don't think that's quite what he meant. Be that as it may, I'm not taking my hat off. Let's go, Luke. But I was really looking forward to stopping in for a snack. A gentleman never takes off his hat, Luke. And that's all I have to say about it. Up, Layton's gonna be stubborn. He's not taking his hat off. <laughs> he sure is, isn't he? This is too deep for me. Oh, what's under your head? Uh, we got like one game to go. Lobster sounds good right about now. Yeah, I don't like seafood, so. Hey, look at these photos of the town, Luke. Whoever took them clearly has a fine eye for detail, but if you look closely, you can see that the pictures are chronologically out of order. Do you think you can figure out where each picture belongs? What about food? I don't like sea- I think it's disgusting. Um, four photographs decorate the wall of Joseph's photo studio. Each photo depicts the same area and was taken at the exact same time of day. However, each photo was taken at a different point in time, 
And if you look correct, if you look carefully, you can figure out the order in which these pictures were taken. Enter your answer using the letters attached to each picture, starting with the earliest, like so, A, B, C, D. What about here food? Ha ha, very funny. Well, I'll figure out the answer to this puzzle after I get some more water. Okay, let's see. The answer is something like C D B A. You know, if it will actually detect my uh, stuff right. All right, that's a D. This is a B. No, that's I I I put a B. <laughs> Come on. Ah, oh, you motherfucker. Damn it. There we go. Good lord. Gosh, the detection on these games is it's always it's always been a bit off, so it's kind of annoying when you type you write one thing and the game's always like, fuck you, I'm gonna make this something else. There we are. If these photos are any indication, Volsense is quite a rich and lengthy history. How neat! With enough of these pictures, I bet you can see exactly how the town developed. You bring up an interesting point, Luke. But if these photos are that old, why do they look so new? Now that you mention it, I suppose they do look new. Normally, with shots this old, the image is a bit more deteriorated. I wonder what method the studio uses to keep these photos so immaculate. Well, we can probably just ask this dude sitting over there. My, these photos look stunningly new for their age. How do you manage that? Sorry, sir, but that's a... Well, a bit of a trade secret. I guess we don't get to find out. Alright, let's move up here. Uh, looks like there's a dog over there. Wonder, what'll happen if we talk to the dog? He doesn't appear to be in a very good mood, Luke. Let me see if I can find out what the problem is. Uh, hey there, fellow. 
Yo! Good heavens, Luke, are you hurt? I don't think he's in the mood for conversation right now. Indeed, let's find another way through town. Passing through here is rather difficult right now. Um... Uh, looks like Herzen Museum is blocked off. <laughs> yeah, because he he uh, he attacked Luke because Luke is the murderer, obviously. This must be the museum. But the gate is shut tight. I don't think they're open right now. I was hoping we'd find some useful information. I was hoping we'd find some useful information inside, but there's no sense in standing around waiting. For the time being, let's continue our investigation elsewhere. The professor and Luke decide to search the town for more information. Still haven't found Granny Riddleton anywhere. Hoping to find her. Uh, shit, I don't want to do the- I don't want to do the camera minigame. Get out of my face. Back. Then I can take a look at the old diary. Um, these uh, these diary entries. I'll probably. I think I'll try to read the diary that I'll try to read the diary entries because these are actually important. Um, I met the most enchanting girl at the ball we held last night. These parties are usually a complete bore, but our presence changed all that. As the Duke's son, the unfortunate reality that most people are either unnaturally polite or fawning toward me. But this girl was warm and real, and she treated me like anyone else. It was very refreshing indeed. I do hope to see her again. I had the great fortune of bumping into that girl from the ball again today. She's the daughter of some fancy lord or another, and it shows. Her intellect is matched only by the grace she displays. To be honest, I'm quite taken with her, and I've already started courting her. However, I fear father seems less than pleased with the idea. So, something big is going on. Or, that's what it seems like. Greetings, strangers. Let me, uh, hey, let me guess. You've come here seeking fame and fortune. Actually, we're searching for an item called the Elysian Box. Does that name sound familiar? Wow, now that's a fantastic name. Here's a puzzle for sharing that great name with me. What? Okay, a yellowed photograph shows three couples. In the photo, no man is standing directly above his, uh, above, uh, above his spouse. Of the three women, two are sisters and are sitting next to each other. The elder sister's husband is the man without a mustache. Everyone in the picture is wearing a hat, save the husband of the younger sister. The woman unrelated to the other two is sitting in front of the younger sister's husband. So... Can you find the man in this bunch who was married to neither s sister? She's from A, B, or C. And with this information, it would be man B. This should do the trick. Thank you for your help. You're always so helpful. <laughs> Great job, the answer is B. Alright. Good job, and good luck finding that whatchamacallit. You know, that thingy with the great name. It's so great, why don't you remember it, you piece of shit? Then when you open it, a genie puffed out and uh, grants you your wish or something neat. Actually, it kills people who open it, but, uh, yeah. Or maybe it doesn't actually kill people. And whoever, uh, and, uh, whoever decided to, uh, make that box a thing, maybe he, uh, maybe they actually just hide their porn inside. Hmm? Oh, I think we're by a strip club or something. In an E10 Plus game. 
Yeah, this is probably like one of the most questionable <laughs> areas in the series. Oh, Mr. Beluga, it's been ages. Do you hope you found what you were looking for? Mm, I wish. Told Samuel to track it down, but the boy is about as useful as a broken pocket watch. Oh, don't fret like that. It leaves wrinkles in that distinguished brow of yours. <laughs> what do you say, Mr. B? Would you like to come inside and unwind for a bit? Professor, do you see that? Mr. Beluga just went into that cabaret. Let's take a closer look, shall we? Don't take your child inside there, Leighton. You're better than that. Oh my, hello there, tall, dark, and handsome. Care to come in and catch the show tonight? No, there's a child here. I apologize, madam, but we're in the middle of... Ah, oh, are you getting shy on me? Don't worry, hot stuff, I don't bite. Yeah, I'm not aroused at all, if, in case you cared about that kind of thing. Oh, and here's your little friend there. Aren't you a precious boy? You should not be encouraging you should not be encouraging letting him in there. Me, um Sorry to change the subject, but I couldn't help but notice Mr. Beluga entering your cabaret. Oh, are you friends with Mr. with Mr. Beluga? Mr. B. Something like that, yes. Tell me, does Mr. Beluga visit here often? If she was Nico Yazwa, you'd be happy to be- That's it, I'm ending the fucking stream right here, right now. God damn it, you ruined it. Pack it up, show's over. <laughs> Alright, Mr. Beluga is certainly a patron of the arts, that's for sure. <laughs> oh, okay, that's all you have to say. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Beluga is certainly, is certainly a patron of the arts, that's for sure. I can't say much more, though. Oh, but you are a handsome devil, mister. So charming, so dapper, and such a gentleman. Show me you've got the brains to match those looks, and maybe I'll let a few facts slip. These facts you're letting slip they better not be inappropriate okay or i'm gonna be pissed i can't show inappropriate stuff on stream because that's bad twitch won't allow it maybe i should have done mixer instead <laughs> oh well i'm doing i'm doing twitch because i'm used to twitch so yeah i i actually thought about like streaming on youtube at one point but I actually had it, I actually had a hard time figuring it out because uh, yeah, for some reason I can't seem to figure out streaming on YouTube. It's I really shouldn't be that complicated, but I tried I, I did a test stream and things just didn't go that well. Uh, like the so it'll be some time before I ever stream on YouTube. I could definitely do like premieres on YouTube where, you know, you set a uh, pre-recorded video to air and uh, probably do a watch along with some people. Handsome Steam now. Stream. <laughs> okay. Handsome and smart. You're some catch, aren't you? Consider me smitten. I'm not into sluts, thank you. That Mr. B, he's definitely here looking for something, but I can't say I know what. Uh, he's looking for porn. The search must be going badly, because he's kind of crabby whenever I see him now. I guess that's all I'm getting from there. It's down this way. Oh, there we go. There's Granny Riddleton's place. I'm wondering where that was. She's cute. She can't be the villain. Okay. Is that how it is? Cute girls can't be evil? I was not aware that was how it worked. Say, there's that shack again. Granny Riddleton's shack. Hmm. We overlook puzzles along the course of our journey. We know where we can go, don't we, Luke? Yes, and why don't we go inside? That's why Nico is the protagonist. No, if Nico's the protagonist, there's a huge problem, because Nico is a villain. Um, it's on your plate. 
All right, so last time I said I was going to need to solve some more puzzles because... Uh... No, I don't want this one because... Um... Puzzle counters and this will make it... Uh... Make it so they hassle later. Oh, another pattern puzzle. I could probably do this. Now, for something on the flowery side, of the three pictures labeled A, B, and C, one is actually the same as the picture on the far left. However, the image on the far left has had its contents flipped left to right, and its colors inverted and changed to black and white. Of A, B, and C, which picture is the same as the black and white picture on the far left? Well, let's see. Um... The dots are too big in C, so I'm going to cross C out. Come on. Cross it out. <laughs> Alright, and as for the other ones, the amount of petals um, seems to match in uh, both of them. But there seems to be a difference in the dots that appear, because there appears to be an extra one in B, so I guess that would mean the answer is A. Here goes. Piece of cake. Yeah, it looks like I was right. On to the next puzzle. Let's see what we've got. It's been on my screen again. How do I keep doing this? Pass it on. Let's see what this puzzle's about. Uh, no. I'm not gonna bother right now. Uh, strip of paper. I don't want to do this one either. Okay, let's do past the apples. I could, I'm sure I can do this one, whatever it was. <laughs> oh, this isn't what I thought it was, but okay. Uh, I could probably do it though, so let's, let's just see. Johnny and Thomas are each carrying some apples. If Johnny gave Thomas one apple, the two men would each have the same number of apples. Conversely, if Thomas gave Johnny two apples, Johnny would have three times the number of apples that Thomas would have. So just how many apples is each of the men is each of the men holding? That is not a nine, no matter how you look at it, and that is not a one. That is not a one. How do you get a nine out of that? Playing the Professor Layton game. Rights of five. Layton, is this a nine? Uh, wonderful. Now I'm just thinking about that butterfly. Is this a pigeon meme? <laughs> Watch that anime that's from. <laughs> Alright. Uh, let's see what its wrap is. Um, no, I could probably do this in order to wrap the flower, just like the leftmost drawing. How should you begin your wrapping? A, B, C, or D? Um, Yeah. Huh. Wonderful. Oh uh, yeah, so today was actually a little frustrating. I was trying to get some work done, but uh my family was being fishing and out, that's probably annoying. My family was being pretty pretty annoying. 
So I just uh... so yeah, it was hard to get some of the work I wanted to get done. But uh, in the afternoon, things calmed down. Um, in my free time, I've been playing this one MMO. I mean, it wasn't received very well, and I can kind of see why. But like, I started. But like the. Re the main reason I'm playing it is because it wasn't received very well. It's similar to a, another MMO I've played, and uh, um, I decided uh, I would... And I figured if it wasn't as popular, that uh, if it wasn't as popular, then maybe uh, it would run better for me than the other one. And um, it's definitely lagged much less, so I appreciate that. Um, but yeah, there are definitely some issues with the one I'm playing now, because like there are some bugs where character animations aren't showing up. Like literally nothing will show up when there's supposed to be a character. Some of the functions are broken and don't work. Uh, there are every now and then uh, I'll see random random jargon or just random numbers and letters or symbols that just don't make any sense and some of them look like error codes also when you first boot it up and get into it uh ui elements are stacked on top of each other so that's kind of annoying i don't know how they made an oversight like that i mean at least they let you move the ui elements around so that that much that much is nice, but it's still kind of annoying that it defaults to that. Here goes. But yeah, also the combat, the combat though, it's I actually like it more than I do than I did in the other MMO because like it's pretty similar to that one, but uh, it might might be partially because of the class I chose. Yeah, and both of them I play as a girl because why the fuck not? I mean, who wouldn't want to play as a cute girl? Uh, the this, there's a fellow with very particular rules about when he wears his best hat. When it's sunny, he always wears his hat. When it's rainy, he doesn't wear his hat. And when it's cloudy, he doesn't wear his hat unless it's been cloudy for two days in a row, in which case he wears his hat uh, in the... On the second of these days, below is a chart of when this man wore his hat over the course of one week. Use a panel to fill in the weather for each day, keeping in mind that it doesn't rain on cloudy days. <laughs> but yeah, also though, but the main reason I play as a girl is because, well, it's just, you know, maybe I just hope I can get Isekai and become a cute anime girl. Wait, what? <laughs> I mean, who wouldn't want to be a cute anime girl? <laughs> Uh. Oh, let's see, the stuff goes something like Consider this puzzle solved. And there we have it. Yeah, you, you, you know what I've noticed, like, I've kind of watched a, like, I don't watch a whole lot of older anime, because, like, every now and then I'll try to watch some of the older shows, but, like, what I watch ends up not being that interesting at all. I mean, I have watched some shows that I did like, um, like, uh, Hardcaster Sakura, that was pretty good, but, like, uh, I've noticed, like, older shows like, young adult woman and then these days it's high school girls isn't that interesting i mean i'm not saying that stuff didn't exist in the older shows it's just it's just it's just i feel like there's more shows about high school girls these days and back then it was more following older women <laughs> Three people are three people at odds with one another are running for mayor in the upcoming town election. 
Including these three candidates, the town has a voter population of 40 people. In order to win, a candidate must get more votes than any other candidate. If each of the 40 voters casts a single vote and every vote is recognized, what is the fewest number of votes a candidate needs to secure victory with certainty? Well, let's see. Honestly, these puzzles that I'm doing really are, aren't puzzles that I'm huge fans of. Oh, yeah, that's one of the things people complain about in Diabolical Box. They feel like there are too many math puzzles. And yeah, math puzzles can get pretty annoying, so I'll give them that. Uh, let's do Odd Shape Out. Okay, you have a box as shown below. Using the white cubes as, stand as standard units, the box is two cubes wide by three cubes long by two cubes tall. Um, uh, two white cubes are permanently attached to the floor of the box. Now, four shapes A through D shown below. Three of them can be placed together in the box to fill it. On the top, no gaps. Find the shape that doesn't fit into the... Uh, box. These in conditions described in the circle uh, and circle the corresponding letter. Okay, let's see. Uh, so you can go straight to the bottom because, like, they're because you know one corner could have because both these cor these two corners have the blocks and this C can kind of fit in there, and then uh, A can go on top. And then B can fit in snugly, so it would be D that doesn't really fit. This should do the trick. Mm. Gosh. Wonderful. Uh, yeah, over the weekend I had pulled a ton of weeds. It was really, really tiresome. I felt like I was gonna throw my back out. God, I freaking hate yard work. <laughs> okay, in a far off country, there's a king whose favorite pastime is showing off the latest possessions he has collected. Okay, I was thinking of this puzzle when I was playing Curious Village. Uh... I mean, it was 420. <laughs> well, the weekend it wasn't. I'm aware that today is April 20th. I didn't realize that until I came home from my walk today. Um... But yeah, I was thinking about this puzzle when I was playing Curious Village. For some reason, I thought this was a Curious Village puzzle. Although, right now, I am thinking of a similar puzzle, but, like, I didn't do that similar puzzle. I didn't do that puzzle in my playthrough of Curious Village. But that aside, I'm doing this puzzle now. In a far country, there's a king whose favorite pastime is showing off the latest possessions he's collected. The subjects of his kingdom are forbidden to purchase items the king has acquired for a month or so. Only once he's tired of his new purchase can the common folk finally buy that item for themselves. However, the other day, the king bought a new item that had him all but commanding his subjects to buy one of them, uh, one of the same item as soon as possible. Circle that item. It would obviously be the phone, because if he has no, if no one else has <laughs> phones, then uh, he can't use it. Huh. Wonderful. And this entire month is 420. Uh-huh. Sure. <laughs> okay, let's see. Baggage claim, let's do this one. Okay, what rotten luck. While trying to pick up your luggage, you find uh, that your bag is at the very back of the pile. Um, baggage porter unloading the luggage claims the boxes in the hold have prevented him from unloading your bag. Use your wits to move all the boxes out of the way and reclaim your luggage. So it's another one of the moving block puzzles. Yeah, you know, I actually think I heard that, like, I think, I'm not sure if this statistic is true, but I think I heard somewhere that 
near half of the puzzles in the series are uh, moving block puzzles. Or no, maybe that's the the puzzles that are awarded you the most picker rats. Most of the puzzles that are awarded you the most picker rats are the moving block puzzles. Might have been that. Not sure. Okay, so the first thing I, could, I should do is that, 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 and then that. Pikachus. Yes, they... Yes, we could call them Pikachus. Yes. And slide these over here. This can go here, and this can go. I, 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 fuck! I didn't mean to restart. What the fuck? I hit restart by accident. I don't think I've ever done that before, but I did that tonight. Wonderful. Uh, let's just go at it like I was doing, and just see what happens. All right, this goes down here. I'll put this. Uh, and I'll put these up now. And this. And. Hmm. Still not. Yeah, it seems like we have somebody getting into food in the house. Kind of been an issue we've had for a while. Like, there's usually somebody that has to steal shit, even though, you know, uh, you know my parents can be pretty unreasonable at times, but uh, usually if, in the middle of the day, if you ask to, if one of us asks to have a certain kind of food, they usually, they'll usually be like, yeah, sure. Uh, so it's kind of odd that uh, anybody in the house would feel like they need to steal anything. Because, uh, like, there, in my house, there's literally no reason to steal food because we're allowed to have food. Of course, there are times where we're not allowed to have food. Because, like, it's not like we can just be like, oh, I'd like to eat something, like, at midnight. Because, you know, it's not good. Okay, so that wasn't working. Uh, okay, I thought I was close the first time, but may have been wrong about that. Okay, I don't need the memo at all for this. Okay, this can go down here. All right. I don't think I did it the same way that I did that. Okay, let's slide this down here. Oh, yeah, actually, it looks like I'm almost there. And I solved it. And now to test my theory. Huh. Well, that was pretty easy. Well, I wouldn't say easy. No. Easier than I thought it would be. Okay. Next puzzle we'll do. Uh, I'll do tangled ropes. I'll probably regret it. But... Alright, let's see. Three rope loops are tangled together with a single red rope. With a single red rope, if you were to pull both ends of the red rope, a single knot would form in the middle. 
Then you figure out how many of the rope loops would get caught in the knot when it forms. Remember, even if a loop appears to have been pulled into the knot, you shouldn't you shouldn't count you shouldn't count it in your answer if you can pull the loop free of the red rope with a tug. Ugh. Sometimes I can't really speak. Ugh. I was hoping hoping taking a break from a little bit of a break from streaming, like. You know, as in the time I'm not streaming from Thursday, between Thursday and uh, Monday. But apparently I'm still, <laughs> yeah. So, this is the amount of loops that would get caught in the knot. None. And now to test my theory. Alright, time to find another puzzle to solve. Okay, so the next puzzle I'll do... Uh, I'm not sure if I want to do board splitter. Um, I'll do cube halves. Uh, I'm just gonna be random. The mirror. That was wrong. Ah, uh, well, I suppose you can't... I'm too lazy to think right now, honestly. That's why I'm... that's why I'm guessing. Um... The lower four halves of four separate cubes. Each of the halves is shaped so that when fitted with an identically shaped piece, these two halves form a whole cube. However, one piece below fails to meet uh, those requirements and doesn't form a cube when joined with another identical piece. I uh, circled the yeah, odd piece out from choice of the HMD up below. Honestly, this is this one makes the most sense. So. My theory. And there we have it. I'll go with that. Turns out that's right. Um, all right, I'll do a change of clothes next. Okay, men A, B, and C each started off with pants and shirts of a single color. A wore red, B wore blue, C wore white. Then they were blindfolded and swapped items of clothing after they took off the blindfolds. Here's what they said, no one's shirts and pants match. Looks like C's the only one of us who didn't keep any of his original clothes. Um, C, I don't know if I like these red pants. Uh, okay, so no one's shirts and pants match. So C can't have a red shirt and he doesn't have his original clothes so he has a blue shirt which would mean he can't be so which means B can't uh, have a blue shirt anymore so uh, let's see no one's shirts and pants match uh, okay, that much true. It looks like C's the only one who didn't keep any of his original clothes. Honestly, and honestly, if C's the only one that didn't keep any of his original clothes, that means B kept some of his original clothes, and C has a blue shirt, which means B has the blue pants, and, uh, and since B a can't have the blue pants or the red pants. Uh, that would mean A's got the white pants. And uh, C A can't and because he has some of his original clothing, that would mean he has the red shirt, and I would say this is about correct. That was uh, pretty simple, actually. <laughs> and I was just Putting a lot of Wonderful. discussion into it, wasn't I? Yep. 
Yeah, I don't feel like I've made a whole lot of progress in this game uh, today, tonight. But uh, I'm mainly just uh, doing doing this stuff so that puzzle counters won't be so much of an issue later. But yeah, I've talked about them multiple times, but they do show up. Below our house is A, B, C, and D, each of which is a different color. Decipher each house's color from the following clues. And the red house is closer to the pine tree than the blue house. The yellow house is closer to the lake than the green house. The green house is closer to the power lines than the blue house. D is either yellow, blue, or green. D cannot be red. Uh, well, let's see. I'm just going to put some thought into this one, and I will be able to figure it out. So something like this. Consider this puzzle solved. A true gentleman leaves no puzzle unsolved. Okay, I think I'll do one more puzzle. I, I'm not sure if I clicked on the train ride earlier, but I'm gonna do it now. All right, an unknown people, an unknown number of people are riding the train. The first station the train gets uh, pulls into, one sixth of the people on board get off. At the next station, one fifth of the people remaining, uh, one fifth of the remaining passengers get off. This pattern continues so that the next station, one fourth gets off, then one third, then one half. Then, at the final station, all passengers remaining, remaining on the train exit as well. Assuming no one got on the train during the ride, was the fewest number of people that could have been riding on the train when it set out. Yeah, that one was pretty easy to work out. Piece of cake. But if it's only got six people, it might not be that successful of a train. Okay, um, that's all the puzzles I'm going to solve for now. Uh, I'm going to do a little save. Just to... Uh, Just to make sure I'm saved. Um, okay, so 56 puzzles solved. I'm gonna get back into the game. All right, let's go back this way. Um, wonder. Does this guy got anything? <laughs> Golly. You two sure are running around a lot. It makes me tired just watching you. <coughs> and I sneezed. <laughs> Why don't you rest a spell with this puzzle I got here? My laptop battery's like 35%. Been plugged in. Did that go down? Weird. And it'll eventually charge up on its own. Like, my laptop battery is weird. It'll randomly... It's not perfect right now, so it'll randomly decide when to charge and when not to charge. Like, it's plugged. <laughs> Take the battery out now. <laughs> uh, so, it, it just randomly decides when it wants to charge and when it doesn't. <laughs> so I don't have to worry about the battery dying. I mean, it's plugged in, so I'm not going to have to worry about the battery dying. Uh, but I'm going to leave it in just in case the laptop decides to randomly charge it, because it, it does that from time to time. I uh, kind of got used to it. I'm not planning to get a replacement battery in at the moment, but I eventually, I eventually, I eventually will. 
Here are four circular flower beds, each with a radius of 10 feet. The way they're arranged forms a space between them. Can you find the area in square feet of the section colored in red below? Ignore the width of the border around the flower beds when calculating your answer. I hate math. Let's see. It would be 69. Hmm. Just kidding. It's 420. Duh. Everybody knows that. Oh, uh, fuck. Get back there. It's actually 400. Consider this puzzle solved. Ah, wonderful. So, um... Golly, you ran through that puzzle so fast and made my head spin. You're one of those people who does everything all slick like her. I get tired just thinking about it. So, um, not everything. I don't feel like everything I say is going to be that interesting. Um, I mean, uh, for dinner tonight I had fried chicken. Not that everybody would care, but... That's what I ate. It was good. But good lord, like I went up, when I went up to, when I went up to get get some uh, out of the bag, like oh my god, my hand just got soaked in grease. It was very uncomfortable. Do you see that watchtower, Professor? There's something very suspicious about it, isn't there? Mm, Greece. Oh no, I triggered a puzzle. Not every day I see new faces. Are you visiting from out of town? Yes. It's, uh, in a way, but we're not here to sightsee. We're searching for an antique known as the Elysian Box. Have you heard of it? Mm, no, that's the first I've ever heard of it. I wish I had some information for you. Oh, I just can't let visitors to our great town go away empty-handed. Here, it's not a key change, but please take this puzzle of mine as a souvenir of full sense. Yeah, so it's, it's pretty interesting how they have an explanation for why everybody is giving, you pu is giving you puzzles in the first game, yet, the, yet it becomes nonsensical in the later games because uh, there's really no explanation for it. It's just everybody seems to be obsessed with puzzles for whatever reason. So here is another puzzle. Five shapes are arranged in a sequence, but the fourth shape is missing. Using the four visible shapes to determine whether A, B, or C should be inserted as the fourth shape in the sequence. Well, there's one. Here's two. If you look at it sideways, you can tell it kind of makes out a two. Uh, if you look at uh, the next one sideways, you can tell it's supposed to make a three. Or if you look at it from a different angle, it'll look more like an E. And the last one, if you look at it from the side, it's supposed to be like a five. So that means this four looking one is the answer. This should do the trick. Puzzle unsolved. Yeah, sometimes hooking up my laptop to different uh, outlets, sometimes that helps. But yeah, I never know when it's going to charge. I just hook it up and hope to God it might charge. Okay, it's been plugged in, but I swear that battery percentage went down. Went down. Holy crap. Okay, what is with the audio quality here? 
I hate to burst your bubble, but if your lead on this Elysian box led you here, you may be out of luck. See many of the residents who were false sense experts skedaddle a few years ago. It all started over a strange rumor that spread the town like wildfire. Ah, so even if we are in the right place, there may be no one left to ask. Tell me, what was this rumor? Some silly thing about a curse. I'm not entirely clear on it, to be honest. But I often find myself wondering where all those people who left False Sense ended up. Okay, I swear it went down, the percentage went down despite the thing being plugged in. I am very, very confused right now. Okay, let's go in here and see if there's anything in here. Um, let's talk to this guy. Wow, this whole place is covered in garlic and it definitely smells like it. Blech! Yes, it's very pungent. It's a good thing I brought a handkerchief. My eyes are watering. My nose hurts just being in here. Finally, some customers. Come in, come in. It's been months since anyone came by to shop. My shop's been out of favor with the townsfolk recently. I can see why, or rather, I can smell why. It's hard to breathe, let alone shop around with all this garlic. What? So, it smells. Big whoop. I'm not here to class up the shop, you know. It's here for protection. You've got what you might call a bit of a vampire problem here in town. Garlic keeps them away, see? Vampires? Seriously? Do I look like I'm joking, boy? See that castle over there? That's where the freaky guy lives. At least, that's what people say. I'm not saying I believe the talk, but you can never be too prepared, you know. You out of town, I should keep an eye out for vampires, just in case. If it really comes down to it, you can always hide out in my shop. It's vampire proof. Um, thanks for the offer. Is there any hidden puzzle hidden around here? What is this thing? Can you eat it? I don't know. I wouldn't. I don't think it's very safe to be in here. Uh, even if it's supposed to even if it's supposedly protected from vampires. Do you see that watchtower, Professor? There's something very suspicious about it, isn't there? Uh, yeah, let's enter the watchtower. Ugh! That scared me silly, Professor. What's making that awful ruckus? I don't know, but I think it's coming from right above us. Quickly, Luke. Up the stairs. Um, honestly though, um, I think I need to investigate uh, why my battery went down despite it being plugged in, so I think I'm actually just gonna end early tonight. Uh, hopefully I won't, hopefully the uh, same thing doesn't happen in other screams, but yeah. Uh, hopefully we'll be fine tomorrow. But yeah, next time I hope to make some. So tomorrow I hope to make some progress for real in this game. Um, I know it's much earlier than usual, but <laughs> there are some things I need to look into right now. So that'll be all for now.